Hi everybody, welcome to Polly's Crocheted Creations. I'm Tori, your hostess, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you haven't, if you like the video after watching it, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit all on the bell icon and you'll be notified of more videos to come. Um, I just thought I'd start off this video with a little bit of fun and humor. Yes, these are pink, fling pink flamingo glasses. I gotta say that word. <laughs> pink flamingo glasses that I got in a yarn haul back in August from Michael's. I picked up six grab bags and I got 60 skeins of yarn in these grab bags along with some lays and some pink flamingo glasses which I totally love and I'll probably use them more in my videos as a start off in my videos. Um, I did crochet this hat. It's a basic simple beanie hat. Uh, I will do a tutorial on that in the near future and I'm going to switch glasses now so that I can actually see you and this video is actually going to be um, about the knot that I use when I'm crocheting. Uh, so we're just going to switch uh, glasses right now and hang tight. I cannot see anything without my glasses. I am actually almost completely blind. Ah, now I can see you. So, um, I just want to say thank you for joining me. Uh, it's great to have you here. Um, watching my videos. So I'm going to point the camera down and show you the knot that I always use when I crochet. I'll, know, I'll show you that a couple of times and um, that's pretty much what this video is going to be like. So we're going to get that started and then I'll do a closing comment and if you have any comments about the video or you like the video, please feel free to comment below. Um, and thank you again for joining me. So we're going to go down to the table. I'm going to show you the knot I always use. And hopefully I can get this lined up. Now. Um, I can't really zoom in unless I zoom in by hand myself. And I can't see um, on my phone whether it's actually working or not. So... This is the red one that I'm going to change color to, and this is the green one, okay? So to start off with, you kind of get them lined up like so, okay? As you can see, they're lined up. Now you take your forefinger and you put it on top. You take your forefinger, you put the yarn on top of your forefinger, then you take your thumb and you put it on top of the yarn. Um, I try to do it as close to um, the, the top of the yarn as I can. So I take the red yarn, which I'm going to be changing over to, and I wrap it around one, and then the second time. The second time, you want to wrap it over these two strands here, but underneath your thumb. So you're trapping this piece of yarn in between the yarn and your thumb. Okay, so you're gonna get kind of like an X thing happening here, right? Like that. Then you take these two strands here and you tuck them in underneath over this piece of strand or this strand of yarn or the two, um, wraps that you've done on your thumb. So you tuck it in and then you pull gently. And there is your knot, as you can see. Now that knot is not gonna go anywhere. You can tug on it and tug on it. Um, the only time that it really doesn't work is if you're working with um, the homespun yarn. Now, I crocheted a shawl uh, out of the homespun yarn in tan and purple, which is in the living room. I, I was going to wear it during my video, but um, 
the cats are kind of sleeping on it right now, so I can't really wear it. Uh, so, uh, the homespun yarn has a ten tendency of tearing. Um, so it's really hard to do that kind of not with the homespun yarn. But this actually works great for acrylic yarn. So again, you want, I'm going to show you this a second time. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're up as close as possible to your yarn ends. You take your yarn that you're going to be changing over to, you put it on top of your finger, and then you take your thumb and you lay it on top of the two yarns to hold it in place. Okay, you take the yarn you're changing over to, you wrap it around your thumb, one, the second time. Now the second time, you're going to go over these two strands of yarn and then under your thumb. Okay, so you're over the two strands of yarn, like so, and then you're under the thumb. So what's going to happen is you're going to have kind of like an X thing happening here in the back. Okay, Let's show you a little bit closer. So... You have the X thing happening here in the back. Now, you take these two strands here and you tuck them in underneath that piece of yarn. So it's in between these two yarns and the yarn in the back here. You take this strand of yarn and you gently pull. So you're going to have your knot. And like I said, there's your knot and you can pull it I'm pulling it and it's not going nowhere those are the knots that I like to use when I'm crocheting then I don't have to weave in any ends so I'm gonna pop you back up bear with me so that is how I do knots when I crochet and I seen that on Facebook um, just a quick home video somebody had shown uh, of how they did knots so I kind of adapted it into what I crochet now um, this is another like I said this is the second busy video I'm doing on um, October or November 3rd uh, 2020 um, this video here uh, it's uh, the the one thing that I wanted to do is again show you the knot um, that I always use when I'm crocheting and I want to take the time to encourage new crocheters um, if you're new to crochet and you're getting frustrated and you don't think you can do it don't quit because I, I when I first started crocheting I actually was like that as well it's like oh I'm never gonna get this but I can tell you right now you keep working at it and you start making stuff like this you're just gonna go oh my god this is like I can create I can create um, so far I've created a corner to corner shawl uh, or actually a corner to corner meets granny square shawl um, I also my friend actually told me to look up corner to corner and I use that st stitch a lot I crocheted a several corner to corner blankets I do have one granny square that I like to use not your traditional granny square this is a different granny square that I like to use a lot in my, and that's the one that I used in my corner to corner shawl, um, meets granny square. Um, and if you check out my, um, Facebook group, which is Polly's Crocheted Creations, and I will put that in the link below. Um, I'll also type it out, um, in the video here. Uh, Polly's Crocheted Creations at the beginning. It's the name of my channel. Um, so I'm basically naming everything after this specific cat that I 
my cat had given birth to. It was a very special cat and it didn't live for very long. Um, it was a polydactyl cat. It had six digits on each paw. Um, but he was a beautiful, beautiful cat. And even though he had a short life, he brought a lot of happiness to a lot of people. Uh, he was just that cat. Um, so, uh, like I said, I will post the link to the in the description box below. Um, on my uh, Facebook group, I developed a group so that we can encourage each other. Uh, new cre crocheters, um, etc. Um, anybody can post on my Facebook group of what they're creating. I just ask that people do not sell stuff on my Facebook group. Facebook group because uh, I developed the group for um, encouragement purposes. So we can lift each other up and encourage new crocheters uh, not to quit um, trying their craft. Um, I know some people will say I never get crochet. Well, I, I always thought that I'll never get this. But I kept working at it, and I know you guys can do it too. So, um, from time to time, I will put on a video of just encouragement saying that you guys are awesome. Um, you guys can do anything you set your mind to. And the world would be so much, uh, such a better place if everybody helped everybody else out instead of being negative there's too much negativity in this world and i know that everybody can encourage everybody else so thank you for watching my quick video and if you like this video hit the like button and if you possibly can and you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel um, hopefully this weekend I'll be going yarn shopping and then I'll have a, a little yarn haul that I can actually, uh, post on Facebook. Um, I don't have yarn from these, uh, big box stores like Hirschner's and, and, um, uh, Hobium. Hobium I did order from. I do have some yarn in, uh, the office that I can actually do some yarn reviews on. Uh, so I did an order from Holbium. I had ordered uh, a couple of things from Ice Yarns that I really liked. And I would like to actually do some videos, um, yarn reviews on the stuff that I did buy from those companies. Um, but I've never ordered from Hershner's. We don't have a Hobby Lobby here in Lethbridge. Um, so there are yarns that I've seen on Hobby Lobby. Um, there are yarns that I've seen on Aldi that I really, really like, and I'd like to try and get them, but unfortunately, I just can't, I don't have the money to order stuff like that. Um, I do have, um, in the description box, a happy mail address, so if anybody feels like they'd like to send me some happy mail, that would be great, but I'm just doing this because I want to uh, show new crocheters what they can do and I will include in the videos that I make of some projects that I do make up um, the hats that I'm wearing I'm not trying to imitate anybody these are the creations that I've kind of whipped together um, I don't really know how to do hats, uh, or toques or whatever. Um, I did read on how to do your basic beanie and that's pretty much what I do. I just recently learned how to do a rib, uh, a rib border, which I, I'm actually quite proud of. Um, that's going with a scarf that I'm making up in this color of yarn. It's called the Marlowe yarn. Um, and I do have like, um, a pink that I'm putting with this hat and scarf set. Uh, so I will be posting anything that I make on 
Facebook on my my page and then I will post what I create on my group but I will not sell anything on my Facebook group my Facebook group is only uh, is a group created only for um, for people to display what they're creating if um, if they have stuff that they've made from secret yarnery or bego de crochet or or uh, any other patterns that they may pick up through um, looking on the internet they're more than welcome to post on my Facebook group uh, I just ask that you guys don't sell anything on my Facebook group um, so that's pretty much it I will leave the link to my Facebook group down below and I will also leave the link to um, Oh yeah, yeah, you also have the, the happy mail. Um, I will be, like I said before, I have an issue with YouTube. It's like, like I have two channels. Um, what I load up on my phone doesn't register on my computer and what I load up on my computer doesn't register on my phone. So it's really weird. So I'm going to have to load the video up, not only from my phone, but uh load the video up to my computer and then load the video from my computer up to the phone so it's a lot more work um i do so if you do come across t two channels that say polly's crocheted creations yes it is the same channel but if you've s subscribed to the one i'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the other one just to cover both bases so um that's pretty much what I have for this video and I'm going to try and do some more videos uh, this week, a couple more videos this week. And I just want to say thank you all for watching. Thank you for all of you who are subscribing. Um, I'm hoping to, if I hit, if I hit 500 subscribers, I would, I would like to try and I, I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I would like to try and have a giveaway if I do hit 500 subscribers. So, this is a, a goal that I'm setting myself now. Um, so, thank you all for watching. And wherever you may be, if it's morning, night, afternoon, wherever it may be, have a great day, night, morning, evening, whichever it may be. And... Keep on hooking. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.